welcome to another episode on the Millie Bug. And if you're not sure what the hell this thing is, <laughs> the link's up in the description for the rest of the playlist. Go and check it out. This is going to be a very cool super bug. And yeah, we're just doing some rust repairs, which we've done, got, got it coated in phosphoric acid. We've put a new floor in, we've put new channels in the front here for the seals. But she's pretty much ready to go for some epoxy primer. We've just got a couple of little, little bits and pieces to sort out. But yeah, pretty much it's ready to just clean this shed out. This is where we're going to paint the vehicle in here. And it's a nice coolish day, actually. Uh, we didn't have a summer here in Australia this year. It sucked. We literally got, I don't know, four days around you know the 30 mark which is like i don't know 90 something like that in fahrenheit but yeah just rubbish rubbish australian summer unfortunately down down south down here let's uh, get cracking on this thing we're going to just start moving some stuff out of here and start cleaning it up getting it prepped for some primer obviously we've got to uh we don't want to get any primer on the dashboard and all that stuff staying in there so we're gonna have to mask it all up get some paper and uh, obviously guards and stuff will do separately so we'll just focus on the body for now and go from there let's do it okay guys so i've just done a few things off camera just got rid of all that filler that was on the back here and just tried to clean up this area a bit more also i grafted it a new little section here because that was pretty rough in this spot here i uh, just had a bit of pit pitting and rust in it and just added another little fresh piece of new metal there and what else have we done uh, just put a little bit of polyurethane KBS or POR15, same stuff, just around the drip rail and around the windows where they are prone to get moisture and rust. Same deal around here. And then we're just going to lightly scuff that back and then put the epoxy primer over it. So that's really going to be a, a barrier to stop the corrosion happening again. Same deal here. Just put the KBS all the way around that channel. And also around the windscreen here too uh, again just just as a little bit of an extra bit of security for for moisture in the future so we don't get rust happening there now next thing now is we just need to get this thing uh, prepped for epoxy so I've got to vacuum it out my favorite pastime not Now, have a look at this, folks. So you can see I've, va I've vacuumed all in here, but look what Oven Boy did over there. He spilled the bloody <laughs> copper spray. <laughs> oh, I've been here for three weeks. <laughs> no, actually, that was me. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, you can actually see this factory felt that they glue down. That's interesting stuff, isn't it? We're going to leave all that there. We don't need to touch it. Did you want to play with this? Did you want to I like to play with everything. Take that off. Oh yes, no, we it. yes, we were Before gonna do you get that. Too excited. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna weld it up or not, or make a door, or make a real patch. I oh, know. Take it off and see what's what's, well, left, what's done to it. Yeah, actually, <laughs> this is a good idea. Let's take this piece of aluminium off so and see what it. sort of honky wonky we find behind it. It's a good idea, isn't it? I, I, I like surprises in my life, like and you guys in YouTube land like it as well. Yeah. Let's see what's behind here. There could be a severed hand. Oh, great. Not mine, I hope. It'll be mummified. It'll be mummified, oh, okay. of course. Not mine, yeah, way. But it'll be doing this at us, probably. Oh, <laughs> That's a friendly car. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Well, you has got the body stuffed in the hole. Oh, you never know. It's like so. someone's tried to change the bush on the... Oh, no, there'll be sure. a bag of cocaine in there. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, 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 there you go. Look at this. See? Look. Butcher job! Drill finish. Oh no, it's one of those rats that eat metal. And they gnaw at it. Look at the look at the gnawing. You can see what's inside there now. Yeah? Wow. Stuff. Yeah, let's put the camera. You missed right all inside. that. Woo! Ooh, yeah, we need a light in there. <laughs> There's no mice in there, is there? Wow. There's stuff in there. Lots of stuff. Check Get it the out, vacuum cleaner eh? snorkel and see what you pull out of that. Yeah, probably okay, drill bits well, and we we can't. Both of our OCDs combined will no, not, not let happening. that fly. No way. No, I I actually think we need to strengthen that up. That's, Absolutely, just that's weld a new good. piece in. Yeah. I reckon. 
I mean, Even do if you're we need it from the back? And but just do we need it. an inspection paddle there? Uh, I don't think Why is it there? It's for Why this bush? Done? Probably for that bush. Yeah, yes. as long as you don't get it hot, it should be right. Because there's nothing um, else on this side other than the fuel line. That's always fun to go up. So you got a brake line down here. You got um, yeah, well, that's fine. That's well away from it. One's a cable and one's a fuel line. Is it a fuel line? There's a fuel line. Yeah, there'll be a fuel line. Definitely a fuel line. Yeah, so make sure you find that. And cut it and sever it. No, we don't <laughs> sever it. We might want that. So you clutch cable, one, on that one. <coughs> so they've cut this so that so they can get the clutch cable, the gear, gear yeah, and then there's a um, throttle cable, and you've also got, I think the fuel line's this one at the top here. You can always set it on fire and find out. But why have they cut a hole? I think to replace the bush here, where you're supposed to go through the front hole. I think that's what they've done. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's happened. It feels alright. Doesn't yeah. look like there's a lot of play on it. Just clean up before you weld the hole and have a good look and make sure there's nothing missing. Okay. So, all right. So, so clean just it up. completely patch it up then. Oh, I don't, so. don't make a door. Is there supposed to be a divot there? I can't remember. Yeah, it feels yeah, like there it. Is. Yeah, there is. Yeah, that's fair. Take, the, take a piece out of the other one if you want to. The channel don't gauge. Same finish if you want. Oh, yeah. 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 Can cut a different hole if you want. Well, then. Oh, make sure it's a round hole, not a square cornered one, okay? No, well, I think I'll. <laughs> I'll oh, probably. Make an oval out of it. Uh. <laughs> You know what? It's, it's probably structurally better that it's a circle. That's what I'm saying. Don't make square edges. No. Oval's no. best. So I think what I'll so do I'll here is I'll, I'll, I'll round this, like get, rid, get rid of all yeah. these jagged edges, make a cardboard cutout, and then just copy it over there and pop it in yeah. place. You can keep yeah. yourself in the right. You can take that home if you want. Uh, I'm trying to cut down on that, so <laughs> no, yeah, you can, you can have it. It's it's your... I think it's a Milo can, actually. <laughs> yeah. Really nice structural. Uh, I like that. It does happen. But you know what? In a forward collision, that would be that would have your crumple zone going <laughs> off to one side. Yeah, right so that's yeah, that's right. Been around yeah. Yeah, it'll oh, work. Who knows? All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the piece of metal that we chopped out of the tunnel of our donor vehicle, and you can see it's actually quite thick metal. This is probably oh, three and a half. Probably three and a half mil, so pretty solid stuff. Let's just give it a clean up and then we're going to obviously grind this into a circle and grind out the circle where it's got to go. Let's do it. You can see it's got this little kind of kink to it here. And that's that section there, so realistically, uh, it lives, because there is a hole in it, it lives exactly like that. There you go, that fits actually perfect. But we're going to sit right there, almost wants to be there. Now we want to start chopping, let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, that looks like that's where we've got to chop our piece out. So I think it's just going to be probably easier to just run the the grinder around this lip now, and then that's going to give us exactly a a spot where to go. So I think I'll just go and grab a yellow texture or something that I can mark the outside perimeter, and then we can uh, chop her out and try not to start a fire. Okay, here's our piece, and I'm just going to use this magnet here to hold it, and we can chuck a tack in place. Make 
sure that we're level all the way around, which we are. All right, now we can fully weld this sucker. Okay, there we go. Nicely, nicely done. A lick of paint and you won't even know it's been repaired. And that hole is supposed to be down the bottom there, by the way, just in case anyone asks, why didn't you fill that in? It is supposed to be there. Anyway, one more job done. Tick, tick, tick. Let's keep on moving. Two hours later. We've got two quality control experts over there. Hey, you guys aren't doing your jobs. Come back here. Hey. No, nah, they're off. Well, this is what we're doing today, girls and boys. Uh, we're continuing on the Millie Bug, and it's time for 80 grit vibing. Uh, first, we're going to uh, prep sole this thing. Actually, we'll probably get the compressor and blow the dust out of it. Vacuum it vacuum this room out get it nice and clean and we're going to lay some epoxy primer in here oh we've got wheels as well to do haven't we we've got lots of shit we need a lazy susan for that yeah or a seat a stool a bar stool will work well you spin it take a drink and keep painting all at once <laughs> that could work there you go all right let's continue get this thing ready Well, as you can see, folks, Oven Boy's vacuuming away the concrete. <laughs> and the quality, oh, control, hi, the quality control expert is Bonnie. Hey, what are you doing? Hello up there. All right, we've given this a sand in. I'm not going to touch it because obviously oils and shit, 80 grit. And we're ready to do some masking up and get this thing ready for primer. And then it's going to look really rough because, you know, obviously we've got all these body repair areas to do, but that's cool. We'll get there. Let's get this thing masked up, eh? Okay, so we are ready to paint. As you can see here, everything is taped up to perfection. That's because I did it and Oven Boy didn't. Can you see that? Look at this. He said we should take my projects more seriously. That's right. Let's go. Let's get primer on this thing.
Righto guys, here we go, she's all painted. Admittedly it's only just primer, but you know, you get the gist. Came up pretty good. We'll probably just drive it as it is, go with the matte finish. No, let's not do that. Well, we're gonna pack things up for today. Uh, in another episode we will do the guards. Then we can actually start doing the body work. You can see here, this is all those repaired areas that are gonna have to be filled and blocked back. But all in all, it's looking pretty good. All right, let us continue. Yoop.